Pitting corrosion is a localized form of corrosion that leads to the formation of small pits or cavities on the surface of a metal. It occurs when a small area of the metal is exposed to a more aggressive environment, while the surrounding area remains relatively protected. You are watching a Captain Corrosion video where you will learn about the mechanisms of pitting corrosion, how to detect it, where it occurs in daily life and the preventative measures to stop it. We will explore this topic in depth, so let's dive right into it. The mechanism of pitting corrosion is quite complex and progresses in multiple stages. In the first stage, the breakdown of the protective oxide layer on the metal surface initiates pitting corrosion. This can happen due to various factors, including exposure to corrosive substances, mechanical damage, or the presence of impurities on the surface. In the second stage, a localized corrosion cell forms within the pit. The pit acts as an anode, while the surrounding area acts as a cathode. At the anode, metal atoms lose electrons, leading to the formation of metal ions. At the cathode, reduction reactions occur. Oxygen reduction is typically the dominant cathodic reaction in the presence of dissolved oxygen. In the third stage, the hydroxide and chloride ions react with the metal in the pit, gradually making the anodic region more acidic. As the metal ions dissolve, the pit continues to deepen and widen, creating a small cavity on the metal surface. The pit growth is self-sustaining, as the anodic and cathodic reactions continue to occur, perpetuating the corrosion process. Detecting pitting corrosion can be challenging, particularly in its early stages when it may not be readily visible. Here are some methods commonly used to detect and assess pitting corrosion. Visual inspection of the metal surface may reveal signs of pitting corrosion, which include localized pits, depressions, or irregularities. Pitting corrosion often appears as small, circular or oval-shaped craters on the surface. The use magnification tools such as magnifying glasses, microscopes, or boroscopes to closely inspect the surface for microscopic pits that may not be visible to the naked eye. High-resolution imaging techniques can help identify and quantify the extent of pitting corrosion. Surface probes and profilometers can be used to measure the surface roughness. Pits tend to result in increased surface roughness compared to the surrounding area, making them detectable through such measurements. Ultrasonic testing methods use high-frequency sound waves to assess material thickness and detect subsurface defects. Ultrasonic testing can identify pitting corrosion by measuring the reduced thickness caused by the pits. Eddy current testing uses electromagnetic induction to detect surface and near-surface defects. This method is effective in detecting pitting corrosion and other forms of surface degradation. Corrosion sensors can be installed onto metal structure to monitor and measure corrosion rates. Changes in the measured values over time can indicate the presence of pitting corrosion. Pitting corrosion can occur in various everyday scenarios. Here are a few examples of pitting corrosion in daily life. Stainless steel pots, pans, and cutlery used in the kitchen can develop pitting corrosion if exposed to aggressive substances such as acidic foods, salt water, or harsh cleaning chemicals. Outdoor metal furniture exposed to outdoor environments, especially in coastal areas where salt spray is present, may exhibit pitting corrosion over time. The combination of moisture, salt, and environmental pollutants can contribute to the formation of pits on the metal surfaces. Pipes made of metal, such as copper or iron, in residential or commercial plumbing systems can be susceptible to pitting corrosion. Factors like low pH water, oxygen concentration, or chemical imbalances can initiate pitting corrosion within the pipes. Vehicles, particularly those exposed to road salt in winter or coastal areas, can experience pitting corrosion on metal components such as the undercarriage, wheel rims, or exhaust systems. Swimming pool structures and equipment made of metal, such as stainless steel pool ladders or aluminum pool fences, can develop pitting corrosion due to the presence of chlorine, chemicals, and prolonged exposure to water. Boats made of metal, such as aluminum or steel, that operate in marine environments are prone to pitting corrosion caused by the constant exposure to salt water, wave action, and galvanic effects. Metal outdoor light fixtures, such as those made of aluminum or steel, can exhibit pitting corrosion due to exposure to moisture, atmospheric pollutants, and fluctuating weather conditions. To prevent pitting corrosion, it is important to implement proactive measures to protect metal surfaces. Here are some effective strategies for preventing pitting corrosion. Choose corrosion-resistant materials for applications prone to pitting corrosion. Stainless steel, aluminum alloys, and other non-corrosive metals can offer better resistance to pitting corrosion compared to carbon steel. Apply protective coatings, such as paints, varnishes, or corrosion-resistant coatings, to metal surfaces. These coatings act as a barrier, preventing the exposure of the metal to corrosive substances and reducing the risk of pitting corrosion. 
Implement cathodic protection methods, such as sacrificial anode systems or impressed current systems, to protect metal structures from corrosion. These techniques involve the introduction of a sacrificial metal or an external electrical current to create a protective electrical potential that prevents pitting corrosion. Design structures and components in a way that minimizes the presence of crevices, gaps, or areas prone to stagnant or trapped corrosive substances. Smooth, well-sealed surfaces reduce the likelihood of crevice corrosion, which can lead to pitting corrosion. Conduct routine inspections and maintenance to identify and address early signs of corrosion, including pitting corrosion. Promptly repair or replace damaged protective coatings, address any surface damage, and take corrective actions to prevent corrosion from progressing. Manage environmental conditions to reduce the risk of pitting corrosion. This includes minimizing exposure to moisture, controlling temperature and humidity levels, and limiting contact with corrosive substances such as salt water, acids, or chemicals. Consider the use of corrosion inhibitors, which are chemical substances that can be applied to metal surfaces to provide temporary protection against corrosion. Inhibitors work by forming a protective film or altering the corrosion potential of the metal, inhibiting pitting corrosion. Ensure appropriate pH levels in environments where metal is present. Avoid acidic or alkaline conditions that can accelerate corrosion, including pitting corrosion. Regularly monitor and adjust pH levels if necessary. By implementing these preventive measures, it is possible to significantly reduce the occurrence and progression of pitting corrosion, prolonging the lifespan of metal structures and components. Thank you for watching our video about pitting corrosion. If you found this video useful, then feel free to like and subscribe. Also, in the description you will find links to additional resources such as online corrosion calculation tools, our handbook of corrosion and more.